All right, guys, March 8th, and, and we are gonna get started on painting Steven's uh, engine bay on his Cobra. All right, guys, the first thing you wanna do when you're painting your engine bay is to clean it. Well, it's like super windy today. And uh, I pressure washed this yesterday, degreased it, wiped it down, pressure washed it again, so we're all set. It dried for like 24 hours, so it's completely dry and we're all set and we're ready to go. So, you got, I suggest to take your front bumper off and your header panel off. It'll be a much easier. Um, now, if you're like me and you like the engine bays all original looking, then uh, you want to try to save the original Ford stickers. This one's in really nice shape, so I'll tape that up and that'll look like it's never been touched right there. Um, this also has both uh, VIN numbers on both of the fenders, so uh, I will tape those up as well. Um, and uh, you want to remove your air box, of course. Uh, you want to remove as much stuff as you can, but we don't want to make it into like a, a two-week job. Um, this is pretty simple what we did here. Uh, I could paint it, untape it, get the thing running by tonight, you know. Um, a lot of you guys are probably doing this in the garage and stuff and, you know, you try to do something real quick and then it turns into a three-month project and stuff. Well, we're not going to let it happen on this. You only want to take the stuff off just enough for us to get tape behind the places where we need to tape up and paint. So like this coolant reservoir overflow, it's still got coolant in it. I just loosened it up and moved it off to the side and it, that's all it is. That's perfect. This uh, fuse box. You have to get this bracket off, so you slide the, the three little pins up, pull it off, and then you have to undo the bracket. So I'm just going to literally tape this out of the way like this. That's it. We don't have to take it off the car. And uh, I do have my little prong tool. I will link it in the description. A lot of you guys were asking about it last time. So we're just going to take the battery cable right here like this. Be real easy, because like I said, I like my stuff all original. You don't want to break anything. And these little clips right here, I, li I like the I like the way they look, so I'm not try not to break anything. There we go. Now we can do this. Now these are a little bit more tricky right here. The hood latch cable. Steven actually took this off, so we got to actually take the cable off of the latch because we are going to remove the cable from the uh, engine bay compartment completely. So. Uh, it's really hard to do one-handed, so I'm gonna do all the stuff necessary and then I'll walk you all through it after I, after I do it myself.
Okay, now these are one of my pet peeves where no one takes off. Right here. You have to access it through the uh, passenger inner fender well, but since we have the bumper and stuff off, we can get to them right here. So I will be definitely taking those off. I hate when people don't take those off when they paint the engine bay. That's how you can tell on eBay too if a car's been wrecked or not and they repainted it are right here. 100% if these have been painted, that car has been wrecked or altered in some way. So we're definitely taking these off. pretty much got this side completed um, got these off I'm just gonna tape this guy up right there uh, I'm not removing this harness um, so we got to clean it back up maybe vacuum or blow that out now on these uh, caster camera plates uh, he plans on upgrading some soon so I am just going to uh, paint these and then I'll tape it back up and paint it black when I'm done just just so it looks good for uh, until he gets the new ones so now we move to this side this is really really nasty and rusty so I'm just gonna pour 15 that and then I'm gonna tape it up like this and just paint this up that way we don't have to do anything with this harness because if I painted that white it would look like crap anyway that's really rusty and textured so uh, it'll save us time too so got these wiring harnesses away that's enough just to blow by now guys whenever you all are wiping this down or uh, cleaning it or whatever watch out for these factory like burrs from the spot welder they can really eat your fingers up man they're sharp and gnarly so uh let me clean this up uh do a little couple other stuff there and then we'll be back all right guys here we are i had to close the uh overhead door and shut the door it was so windy that it was like impossible to tape so i scuffed all the edges um taped everything up this should turn out really nice again i am painting these white clear coating them and then i'll go back over it with some black just until the upgrades uh, I am going to do the hood hinges because I'm doing the underside of the hood that way it matches and it's not all faded so don't forget that guys if you're going to do the underside of your hood make sure you do uh, the hood hinges damn it hello 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 what's up hey uh, we're all going to eat around like 6 or 6 30 all right, that sounds perfect, dude, because I'm about ready to clear coat. Say what's up to everyone. Uh, well, nobody's here right now, but... No, say uh, what's up to the subscribers, because you interrupted us. I'm sorry. All right, well, I'll let you know. Are you going to say hi or no? I said motherfucking hi. All right, all right. Sorry, guys, Alex is being okay. grumpy, Gilbert. All right, well, we're going to Hooters at 6? Yeah. All right, sweet. I can't wait to get tits. All right. All right, bye. All right, Alex is still at work. I think he just got off. So anyway, like I was saying, I'm going to clear coat these, and then I'll, uh, in a couple days, tape it back up, paint it black so it looks uh, 
stock and not crazy. I do actually see a little bit I missed right here. I got to tape up. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Who the hell is that? I don't know, I'm busy. All right, so I'm gonna mix the paint, tape up that little spot, and then we're ready to start spraying. All right guys, before we actually start spraying on the engine bay, uh, to help the engine bay out a little bit and the paint to stick, we're gonna use some etch primer. I'll have a link in the description, so you just wanna mist it on. We're not trying to completely coat and change the color, because this is gray. We're just misting it on. That way it helps out our paint to stick and uh, won't chip later on down the road. Let that flash and dry for about 10 minutes and then you're ready to spray. All right, I let this dry for about 20 minutes already. I went ahead and took the tape off this the radiator support sticker and the, both sides of the fenders. So now we're gonna clear coat them and fossilize them into the paint job. So I got the clear coat mixed up and uh, we're ready to start spraying.
All right, guys, this is almost dry. It's getting a little tacky, so I'm not gonna tape it yet, but this is the results. Got a little bleed through right here, but we're painting that black, and uh, our uh, strut tower brace should cover that up. So I'm gonna wait a little bit longer and then we'll untape it and uh, Sean just showed up. So I'm gonna be working on the 67 while we wait for that. I did go ahead and uh, paint the uh, intake manifold. So I'm gonna scuff the edges up where the gasket goes and uh, get ready to put it back on. All right, about to start taking this rear end out. So I'm gonna get gears and everything installed in it. Sean's over here, and he just pulled the rear end on his uh, 95. Oh, yep. Even though the bolts gave him shit because they're rusted in there. Yeah. So, uh, sometime by the end of the week, this weekend, I'll take it to that guy, get it rebuilt, and we'll be all set. He's already got the gears. What gears do you have? 373s. He's already got 373s for it, so that's all set. Um, Steven actually just left. I haven't really been filming a lot, but... The engine bay's done and put back together. Besides the intake, we still gotta paint it, so we don't have that on there. But it turned out awesome. Makes me so happy. So this looks absolutely like a wonderful Christmas now because it's all pure white and not yellow <clears throat> so I got the uh, heavy ass intake back on the uh, 390 with the S right here so um, I'm buttoning that up I'm gonna finish it up tomorrow I got the new uh, brake booster and master cylinder to put on tomorrow they're at the house I forgot them so I'll wait on that um, tomorrow Steven's off work Thursday so uh, Steven's gonna come back over in the morning and uh we're gonna meet up get breakfast then come over here uh this this is still kind of wet i mean it's not wet but if you put your weight into it you could uh damage it so we're gonna wait and some of the other stuff is we just need to wait till tomorrow but uh i did went ahead and go ahead and painted these hood hinges that way when you have the hood up it looks brand new because i'm gonna paint the underside of it sean will come back over tomorrow but it won't be till about 4 4 30 um and um yeah so we're gonna paint the i'll probably paint the front bumper tomorrow steven's coming over in the morning we are definitely 100 percent. i know we've been saying it every fucking day but we are definitely 100 percent putting the transmission in tomorrow because we need to put this on the lift because we're going to do the brakes on it and uh we're going to prep them and paint them do all that stuff and then uh what for what <clears throat> so Sean's might go on the lift if he's nice. I don't know. I definitely need a 415. Yeah. 
So Sean's picking up all the tools so that way tomorrow come in and we're not looking for shit for three hours and all that stuff. So, um, but yeah, if you guys want to still enter the contest, uh, the link will be in the description. I didn't even say it in the other video. I just commented on there. So uh, we're still giving away those panels. And uh, I think I have it ending Sunday night, Monday morning for some. So um, you can still enter anyone that's subscribed can enter. So um, yeah, we're just cleaning up for tonight. And uh, I don't know. I mean, it's been a long day, but that actually took a long time to tape up and prep and everything so uh oh here's the new uh mid pipe for the 96 cobra bbk so we got to throw that on the lift when it's on there tomorrow and um yeah so other than that um enter the giveaway uh, i haven't picked up the hoodies yet and i do only have a handful i'm telling you i only have a handful of hoodies so i don't even know how i'm going to sell them but uh we will definitely be making some more i might change the design a little bit because i only have I think I'm only getting 12 made because I only had 12 of these prints. So the prints were already pre-made from last year when I got them made. So uh, I didn't want to waste them. So the cost was down a little bit. So I just went ahead and made those. So uh, I have to get some more prints made. But I didn't want to order, you know, 100 of them and then only sell 10. And then I'd be stuck with all the hoodies. So uh, you guys are actually commenting on there saying you would want one. So uh, that's good. So now I'll know once I sell these other ones real quick that... Uh, We'll get some other ones made and uh, we'll be set. Uh, any of the profit, you know, I want to make my money back that I put into the hoodies, but any of the profit will go towards giveaways or any, or anything like that. So, um, what? Put the mag, just stack them up right behind you. Right in the corner right there. That's perfect. All right. So, as always, uh, well, I don't, I don't know why I said as always. We don't ever say anything at the end, do we? Uh. Ah! So, uh, Sean wrecked his car last night, so he's going to build this 95 up instead because the Shelby is totaled. So, uh, yeah, yeah, he fucking ran into that uh, Red Fire Terminator, but oh well, don't tell anyone. Um, all right, guys, well, that's going to wrap the video up for tonight. So, uh, remember to enter and subscribe and uh, give this video a like, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.